I'm kind of excited. Uh, one of the guys running for president is Bob Dole, and he has agreed to come on the show. Yeah, there's only a couple of guys now. There's only a couple of guys running now. Who are they? Clinton and Dole? Pat Buchanan is running. Right. Not a couple of people are threatening third-party uh, runs for the That's presidency. True. And uh, I'm anxious to see him. Up oh, there he is. It is Bob Dole. Wow, look at that. Holy mackerel. Oh, man. What an honor to see you, sir. Here, good. Uh, got my uh, casual look on here. How do you like it? Uh -huh. You look fantastic, Mr. Dole. Let me just say, although I'm... Not thinking of voting for you because of uh, the abortion issue. I would love to inter interview you, and maybe you could convince all of us. Yeah. To uh, you're smart to come in here is I think what I'm saying. Well, that's what I'm here for. I'm uh, traveling around uh, America and trying to trying to get to know the people of America. Right. It was funny because I saw a picture of Dole in the paper the other Mr. day. Mr. Dole. Mr. Dole. Right. Uh, <laughs> standing on the beach in his suit. Talking to people, so he yep. was casual. Sure, too. Sure. Yeah, Nixon used to do that. He used to walk around on the beach in a suit, too. Uh, a good man. Right. Good man. And you don't look a day over 85 in person, i got to tell you. <laughs> you look great, i got to tell you, Mr. Dahl. Uh, and it is tell you something. I've uh, traveled all around this country, and I've met the people of America, and I learned one, uh, one thing about them. What is that? I don't like them. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not great people. Uh, they're damn fools, most of them. But um, let, let me let me conduct a serious interview with here. Yeah, even though this show is not known for being serious. Is he serious. kidding now? Is this the joking Bob Dole? Well, I, uh, you're you're trying to improve your image. I don't think there's any. Uh, sure, sense of humor is important. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Dole. Hard to tell. It, it is a comedy show. You know that. Sure. But. Uh, uh -oh. I really do want to conduct a serious interview. Right. May, may, may I ask you some serious questions? <laughs> Dole's right. laughing at you. No, but come on. I mean, I know I look kind of freakish and everything, but I do. I, I, I want to do a serious interview here, okay? Sure, sure. All right, good. You want to make an opening statement? Get this well, thing rolling? Uh, I'd like to say that, uh, where the hell am I? <laughs> you're at, you're at uh, K Rock. That's right. American, who are you? I'm Howard Stern. I, I remember the big hook nose fella. That's right. That's uh, right. Hair like a girl. That's right. Uh, queen of all media, don't they call you? That's right. Uh, the queen of all media. That's very funny. Yeah, well, let me tell you why I'm here, Howard Good. Stern. I'm here to reach the young people. Right. You know, the under-65 group. Right. That's right, the baby boomers, Generation 10. That'll... All right, what you're, what you're hoping to do, may I clarify here because I'm a little confused. Sure. By appearing on my show, I think that uh, you're trying to reach the people who might be thinking of voting for uh, President Clinton. You know, in the last election, I helped President Clinton get elected. Well, I know you did, and I'm, uh, I'm looking for that same thing. You know, you reach demographics I've never been able to reach, Howard Stern. Right, right. I'm talking about the damn dirty hippies. Right. Sexual deviants. Right. Criminal element. You want to reach them. Sure, the yeah. pedophiles, homosexual and otherwise. <laughs> yes. All of them. And you know what? I want that one group that can make or break a candidate. You want to reach a group that can make or break a candidate. That's right. The group that your show is aimed at. Who's that? The Crack whores. Crack whores. Yeah, I'm looking for the crack whore vote. Uh, come on. Isn't it true that you're behind with most groups? Well, that's true, but uh, I'm ahead with some, too. That's what the media doesn't tell you, Howard. Stern. All right, na name one group that you're ahead with. Well, I'm a clear favorite among uh, really old guys with one arm. They like you. Sure, people they like you. How many it. people like that are there? Well, there's, you know, hello there, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a second. You brought up something interesting, Mr. Dolph. You really brought up something that's interesting. Right, right. Let me ask you, what about your age? I mean, you're older than everyone. Isn't that true? Well, I uh, suppose that is uh, when you look at it that way, but uh, age will not be a factor in this election. I'll let you know that right now, Howard. Age saying. will not be a factor. No, sir. Unless Are you I, dropping uh, out? Uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> no, Mr. Dole, what do you mean age will not be a factor in this election? Well, way? unless I die. Right. Okay. It'll be a factor. And I won't lie to you, Howard Stern. I'm no spring chicken. Well, uh, my prostate hasn't functioned properly since JFK's head was in one piece. All right. So I guess you and Mrs. Dole don't have an active sex life anymore. I know. You wait just one minute, Howard Stern. The only thing on Bob Dole that's limp as this arm here. Right. That's right. When it comes to dirty, shameful sex, I have just as much as anyone. You hear that? Right. Hear that, Robin Quivers? I, I just heard that. Uh, Bob you... Dole's a man who appreciates a good three-input woman. Right. Oh, and by the way, Mr. Dole, Robin <laughs> is a three-input oh, woman. Is uh -huh. Mrs. Dole? Let me ask you something about specific uh, ethnic groups, if I may. Sure. All right. Now, you're friendly, you say, to different ethnic groups. Are you friendly to blacks? Well, when I, let me tell you something. When I was growing up, we didn't call them blacks, Howard Stern. Yeah, what did you call them? Uh, slaves. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Are you friendly to the slaves? Well, that was a different century. I don't call them slaves anymore. I use the correct 
Terminology. Right. Darkies. Darkies, I see. Right. Okay, now wait a second. Mr. Joel. Let me ask well, you, you got a good system here. You got the white folk here, and you got the I'm segregated. colored girl over there. Right. The I'm segregated over well, let me ask you something. I'm curious. No one's ever asked you this before, right. and I've been known to ask outrageous questions. Have you ever slept with a black woman? Well, uh, to be honest with you, Howard Stern, uh, love is blind, and I've uh, known the touch of many an ebony princess. Really? Sure. Really? Well, that's shocking. That's shocking. Well, uh... Only problem is, you know, uh, who wants to make love and guard their wallet at the same time? <laughs> right. <laughs> but I will say one thing for him, you know, when you're finished with him, well, the, the bed's made and the room's spotless. Oh. Right, all right. Now, obviously, you're a little unenlightened when it comes to black people, Mr. Dahl. Well, but, I wouldn't uh, say that. I, was, I resigned, you know, the same week as Magic Johnson. That's true. That's right. And I have uh, full respect for Magic Johnson. He's a great man. Do you like him? Oh, my goodness. He, he'll leave a lot of records unequal in the NBA, and I'll tell you one record he'll leave. What's that? Nobody will ever break. What's that? Only man ever to get AIDS from a woman. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me move into some other issues, because you're being very open, and I appreciate your candor here today. Sure. All right? How do you feel about abortion, and uh, how do you feel about gay rights? Well, I'll tell you, Bob Dole's against abortion. He's against gay rights. Right. There's one thing he's for. Yes. Aborting gay fetuses. Really? Now, oh, that's, sure. you're the only candidate who's come up. You want to abort yeah, gay fetuses. That's right. Once you see a limp wrist on that sonogram, you get out the vacuum. Right. Now, Mr. Dole, now, let, let, me, let me say something here, because this is outrageous today. You are really coming out fighting. Uh, that's right. I don't know how many of these policies we can believe. Are you serious? Well, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Listen, let me let me say something today, and I think this is, you got to say something favorable about Mr. Dole. What's uh -huh. that? A lot of people have said that you uh, lack energy, but i got to admit something today. You have lots of energy. You really do. Well, sure. I'm no friggin' fossils, Howard Stern. Right. What if I'm old? Even a dead Bob Dole will be better than Clinton. Right. <laughs> Problem with Bill Clinton is he thinks it was his penis. Right. Uh, I'm surprised his penis doesn't deliver the State of the Union address. Right. And Hillary, good God, she's more annoying than crumbs on a massage table. Crumbs on a massage table. I don't get. I don't even get that reference. Uh, I didn't get it either. Jackie <laughs> gave it to me. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's, that's uh, true. <laughs> that. You can't throw anything at the president. Yeah, yeah, Jackie's the throwing paper. At the, yeah, that's the president of the United States. Yeah, Almost. Lord. Almost, right. that's right. right. I'll tell you what I don't get, though, Howard Stern. This building you work in. You don't like it. Good Lord, Bob Dole hasn't seen a structure this discrepant since his left arm he looked at. <laughs> I see. I call this the hell that is 600 Madison Avenue, home of the world's greatest radio show. The world's funniest people. And that Fred fella. <laughs> Good Lord, Bob Dole thinks a grown-up man should get his wife under control, make sure she's not out stripping her Broadway shows. So you are a fan of the show. You know about Fred's wife stripping. Well, I've been told. Right. As long as you're commenting on people from the show, how do you like our own Robin? Comment well, on her. I like her a lot. She's a, she's a cute girl, you know, but I... I think it's not so normal to be consumed with your sphincter and colon all the time. Right, with her high colonics. That's yeah, ridiculous. Bob Dole says anyone so consumed with their butt cheeks should be ashamed of their sorry existence. Yes. And this I... fellow over here, Jackie. Jackie the joke man, Marvin. Yeah, damn dirty hippie, that's all he is. Oh. Well, yeah, what about him? Uh, he's out in the hallway trying to sell me a bunch of crappy T-shirts and CDs. Oh, that, he makes those in his basement. Yeah. <laughs> a big star. Yeah, Bob Dole's all for capitalism, but you, buddy, you're embarrassing yourself. That's true. Yeah. You're absolutely Right. Not as embarrassing as Ralph, you know, but... Uh, <laughs> you there. met Ralph? Well, yeah, so I'm out there, but Bob Doyle doesn't like to pick on little girls. <laughs> what did you think about some of our interns out there? Oh, uh, good Lord. Steve the Gorilla? Right. Stutter and John, Ganja? Good Lord, don't interns usually move on after nine years, Howard Stern? <laughs> right. Excellent point, Mr. Dahl. Yeah, by the way, Stern, I think it's damn nice you'd employ that retarded fellow with the big teeth. <laughs> oh, you like that I employ the retarded with the big sure. teeth? Sure. Working for a living makes him feel better about himself. Get him off the welfare rolls. You're actually talking about Gary, our producer. Yeah, whatever. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Mr. Dahl, let me just say something here, because it's going very well, but I don't want to... I'm uh, shocked that he's here and we're talking. I don't want to uh, wear out your welcome. <laughs> I'm flattered. What are you throwing him out? No, no, I'm just, I'm no, I'm thinking of questions. All right. Uh, first of all, I'm flattered at uh, how much you know about us on the show here. That's very, that very, is that's right. really yeah. something. But let's, uh, let, all right, let me get back to the campaign because that's what you're really here for, right? Sure, okay, well, all right, right. Uh, what is the first thing you're going to do if you're elected president? Be serious. Well, the first thing I'm going to do, Howard Stern, is get rid of that beast, Janet Reno. Janet Reno. You don't Good like Lord, her. Good Lord, take a look at the woman. <laughs> uh, it looked like she ran out of money halfway through her sex change operation, for God's sake. <laughs> right, okay. Now, what about uh, accusations that you're too mean-spirited, like saying that Janet Reno looks like she ran out of her uh, sex change uh, money? Well, I'm not mean-spirited at all. When I get into the White House, I, uh, I, I don't know what I'm going to enjoy more, screwing over the blacks or the Puerto Ricans. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so there's not going to be any blacks in your administration, is that correct? Well, uh, 
I, I like some of them. I wish there were more blacks like Clarence Thomas. At least he can name all his kids. <laughs> right? He can't right. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I don't know anything about the guy. Uh, anyway, Mr. Doll, I think it's time to wrap up. What? Not so fast, you big hairy freak. <laughs> <laughs> I've chosen a. I've chosen a running mate, and I'm giving you the exclusive. Oh, now, great. Now, this is a big news. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, Bob Dole will mention who his running mate is going to be. Now, who is it? That's right. Bob Dole's running mate for this 1996 election. Somebody who's been with me for a long time. It's going to be... This pencil here. The pencil you hold in your hand. That's right. That's uh, right. Uh, yeah, it's a number two pencil. His name's uh, Dixon Ticonderoga. Right. Yeah, he's been with me since the Great War, Howard Cern. You mean World War II? No, you damn fool. The Great War. Cro-Magnon Man versus Triceratops. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Me and my pencil won that war, and now we're going to win the election. Well, let me tell you something. Dole and Dixon Ticonderoga in 96. I, let me tell you something, Mr. Dole. That pencil has more personality than Al Gore, so you might actually take the election. Uh, that's Isn't a good that true? point, Howard Stern. Well, I, wanna, good I want to thank you, Mr. Dole. Let me ask you one last question. What do you think of that guy on Saturday Night Live who does the impression of you? Uh, goddamn fag. <laughs> you think he's a fag? You, th you really think he's gay? I think he might be. Yeah, right. <laughs> Well, that's unbelievable. Wow. Isn't See, this... He's really opened up to us today. I can't believe it. I can't believe how much you've opened up. Right. And look how good you I'm look. I'm beginning to <laughs> like him a lot better. You, like, you know, I think I'm going to vote for Bob Dole now. I like all the things you said. Yeah, vote for Bob Dole in 96 on account of I can't do anybody else. Let me ask you Let me ask you a favor. Can I smell your pencil? I know it's been in that oh. hand for a really long time. Uh, sure, let absolutely. Me see, let me just pull it out of there. Let me there see. you go. I had it jammed up a Puerto Rican's ass last night. <laughs> oh, stop that. Hey, come on. <laughs> wow, you know, do you smoke? It smells like tobacco, actually. <laughs> I think you're very nervous. Of course, this is the great Norm McDonald yeah. from Saturday Night Live who does Bob Dole so well. Right. And he's made up, he's fully made up as oh, Bob Dole. Well, the E channel, right? Right, yeah, oh no, you gotta do that. Thinking of everything. I can't believe it. Hey, you're good, man. You are so funny. <laughs> well, you guys are the greatest. You're the only reason to watch Saturday Night Live anymore. All right. Yeah, Weekend Update is great. Weekend Update is it's really back good. Back to its yeah. for, uh, former glory. You, uh, you write that? I mean, you and that one guy write uh, the whole Weekend Update? Yeah, me and two guys Jim Downey and my buddy Frank Sebastiano. And Ross A. Brash and me. I wonder how much money they're paying you. Do they realize that you're valuable to the show, or do they just like... No, they don't pay me that much. They pay me, like, there's like five guys that get paid more than me. But doesn't Lauren realize that you... You're the best thing? You're the best thing on there? No, Is he going doesn't. to make a heavy salary demand? No, he doesn't think Does so. he realize how bad the other guy used to screw up the news? What was that guy's name? He's a nice guy, uh, too. Kevin but Neal. Kevin Nealon. Kevin Nealon didn't yeah. do too good a job. He seemed real nervous. But he's a real funny guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you still sort of half in your Bob Dole impression and half like Norm? <laughs> no, no, this is me. That's yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> I'm not you sure know, who I'm talking man, to. Because he still has that makeup on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's kind of locked into yeah, it. I can't do impressions. No, man, I love you. I can Saturday do him, and I can do Ed Sullivan. Let me see that. Um, it's, it's Ed Sullivan uh, uh, teaching a class. All right, go ahead. Okay, this, this is Ed Sullivan, hey. All right. but he's teaching a grade four class. All okay? right, go ahead, go ahead. It's, um, uh, okay, uh, class, today we have a... I can't do the voice. Right, 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 go ahead. Oh, but oh, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> okay, go ahead. okay, class, today we have a really big quiz. That's, That's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Actually, you look like Elvis more than Bob Dole. <laughs> it's unbelievable. But Norm MacDonald, the best reason to be uh, to actually tune in Saturday Night Live. David Spade's pretty good, too, but he quit. I got a funny story about Spade. Oh, and can you tell the uh, story about how you got gay bashed yesterday? <laughs> really? Yeah, well, and he's not gay. Wait till you hear this. Yeah. This he, is really good. Well, he, he, got, he got, like, attacked for being by gay. By gays? By, no. For being gay? Yeah, for being gay. Yeah, you don't get attacked by gays. At all. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, that would be news. Yeah, if you got beat up by gays, that'd be pretty embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's take a break. Yeah, I got to hear about this. We'll come back and uh, I met Norm when uh, I was up at Saturday Night Live. I, w I met Lorne Michaels and uh, yeah, I, I remember you saying you met him. Yeah, like Norm was real nice to me. That was really funny. Cause I thought you, you were going to be a prick or something. I thought you were like arrogant, <laughs> like Dennis Miller. Uh, no. I didn't know. No, you know but that mean? was funny because you talked about it once on the radio about you meeting with those uh, guys. Yeah. And it was amazing how you you nailed all, them all. You knew Man, was, exactly what they were. Yeah, it was kind of weird. Yeah. But uh, I, you know what? Because you're, you're you're like I always thought Dennis Miller was really funny. Yeah. And I thought like well, maybe and Dennis can be a real prick. So I was thinking like maybe you yeah. were going to be a prick, but you were like so nice and everything. It was. Now, like, Dennis is good. He just has like points of view about stuff. Yeah. Know? Right. Yeah. He just gets all bent out of shape. Yeah. You know, it's comedy. 
<laughs> it's only funny when Dennis says it. Somebody else goofs around and gets yeah. gets kind of sensitive. Yeah. You know him? Yeah, yeah. I wrote on his uh, talk show. That was my first job. Oh, really? Yeah, I wrote on his. Remember that talk show? Yeah. Yeah. You mean the first one? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Did the one that Jay Leno ruined because he stole away all the guests. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's a good one. Hey, you know, my show would have been successful if Jay didn't steal away all the guests. That's right. It was. Well, sabotage. Well, before Jay was sabotaging, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want to know. So then it dawned on you, hey, go perform yourself. What do you have to give only Dennis Miller all your good material, right? Yeah, I wrote on him, and then I wrote on Roseanne for a little while, and then I, I said, man, this writing part, is, that stinks. That sucks. To... You want to be a star. Yeah. Yeah. You want to be famous and get chicks. No, I don't want to get chicks. I'm married. I have a child. Oh, you are married? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't. How old? How old your kid? Three years old. Is he a boy? Yeah, he's a oh. good boy. Is he really cute? What? Sure. Oh. Yeah, well, oh. <laughs> you married to a woman? Oh, yeah. 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 He had a child. I would okay. imagine so. <laughs> now, um, um, tell Robin and everybody because I kind of know the story, but I'm not too clear on this. You're walking around in the village with a buddy of yours the other day. Yeah. And, and what happened? I got gay bashed. Yeah, he got gay bashed. Because you were walking with another guy? Yeah. Yeah. I was walking with this guy, you know, and... Were uh, you holding hands? Uh, no, no. <laughs> they were just we, making out. No. Oh, oh, man, what's the big deal? That's not gay. No, we weren't making out. We were just walking along, talking. And yeah. I guess it was like a gay part. Where it's the part where the gay people hang out. Hmm. So this truck full of guys come, and they <laughs> shot like... it was a, We thought it was a gun, but it was paint. They shoot paint at you. They shot paint, paint pellets. pellets. And like, yeah. was it weird? Well, it's hard to, like, you, it's hard to get gay bad, you know, because you can't prove you're not gay. What are you going to do? Like, right. Not blow a guy or something? You know? <laughs> well, wait a second, man. You can't say that. So, uh, <laughs> Come on, man. What's the matter I'm with you? Sorry, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Did you say that on Saturday Night Live? No. So isn't that embarrassing, though, when you get hit by uh, pain pellets and all of a sudden, like, everyone thinks you're gay? Yeah. Yeah. But you're heterosexual. You're married. I'm married. Is your yeah. wife hot? I mean, when did you get her? I, I'm, At what point in your career? Like, oh, I, I got her. I was a, 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 I was a garbage man at the time. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. so is she hot? I mean, you, know, you could probably get hotter chicks now. She was hot for a, like a garbage man's girlfriend. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> See, when I got married, I, I everyone said, "Man, look at the wife you got," because who would even think someone would date you? Yeah. But yeah. now that you're famous, right? I mean, yeah. uh, I, now what was this thing they did on Extra about you and Elle McPherson? You guys had an affair or something? No, no, that was all nonsense. Was it? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah, sure. He's a married man. <laughs> you know, yeah, right. She went. She came to the show and. She's like very uh, flirtatious to everybody. Right. So uh, then somebody started this crazy idea that... Uh, and she's very bright, so you get attracted to a, a very smart woman who's good looking, right? She's bright? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. No, right. So so you're saying that Elle McPherson was on yeah. the show as a guest. She's a gorgeous woman. She's beautiful. Well, yeah, I guess. But like, I don't have like... I'm not like you. I don't have like a real high sex drive. Right. You yeah. don't really? No, not at all. Well, that's something to advertise. Yeah. <laughs> so you, so you, like, you, she was flirtatious, and were you like sort of being flirtatious with her? You had to be attracted to her. No, I wasn't attracted at all. I'm not attracted to like uh, girls, girls that much. I used and to be when I was gay. young. And you're not gay. Maybe those pain pellets were telling you something, pal. Oh, exactly. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> no, when I was young, I used to be. Really? Yeah. But well, you're so still you're a young guy. Even, are you? You do have sex with your wife, don't you? Yeah, I have sex with my wife. Yeah. Uh, how, how often? How like often? once a week. Well, the thing is, like with my wife, we have sex because we know exactly what to do right. with each other. Hmm. But if I was with somebody else, I'd have to, you know. The, I don't believe this for a minute. No, I'm serious. Time. I've never met a guy who said this. But who how often that? do you have who sex with your wife? I've never met a guy who says, your sex life doesn't, your, your, your sex drive doesn't, you don't have a low sex drive. Yeah. There's just no way. Does he masturbate? My, do you masturbate? Oh, yeah. I you do. High, so uh, then you have a high sex drive. For myself. No, no, no. <laughs> I so when Elle McPherson is running around in a little short skirt and she's looking gorgeous, don't tell me you're not thinking about doing her. And don't, yeah, I mean, no, you I swear to God, I'm not. I think, really? No, I've been to the doctor about this. Really? really? Yeah, You've yeah. gone to a, a psychiatrist? No, no, a physical doctor. Because you're saying, hey, I don't get aroused that a much. A urologist. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, but wait a second. Mentally, wait a minute, you get wait a aroused, is right? Is he having trouble? <laughs> Are you getting having trouble getting around? You might, I'm telling you, you're gay. <laughs> no, 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 wait no. A wait a second. You're telling me. No, I can masturbate as much as anybody. Okay. No, not as much as me. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, believe really me, good. don't take that challenge. He has more free time, I bet. <laughs> Wait, Norm, I don't understand something. What? You went to a doctor, you said, hey, 
I'm what with me. Say? I'm around Elle McPherson, and I'm not getting aroused. No, I didn't mention her. <laughs> yeah, but and, and you start to get concerned that, hey, why am I not getting aroused around these beautiful women? Yeah, because I used to always get aroused all the time. Right. No matter what. Like, I could see a giant fat woman, like, part of her ass. Right, and you get excited by <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. I'm, 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 are you on medication of any kind? No, no. no. I, I just, uh, now I'm just... Do you need that testosterone <laughs> patch or something? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, it, it makes you more masculine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But then your hair falls out. <laughs> yeah. You've got to be careful about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, explain something to me. What's are, you, are you putting me on or are you being no, serious? No, I'm serious. You're being yeah. serious. It's hard to tell him. You're saying, no, I think he's a, he's a straight-ahead kind of guy. Oh, I'm serious. You know, I mean, I've only met Norm once. But... I, w- I would love to talk to the doctor. <laughs> right. Well, actually, I met you twice. I met you backstage at Letterman, too. Yeah, we right, talked a little yeah, bit. Right. So wait a second. And Norm gave me a bunch of funny jokes. He says, hey, listen, I'll never get to do these on Saturday Night Live. So here, you take them. Oh, great. Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah. So anyway, that was really nice. Yeah. So anyway... That was like the most gracious thing anybody's ever done. Ever. Yeah. yeah nobody's ever. Yeah. yeah I mean, there was no, there was no hidden agenda. So you're telling me, let me get this straight. Yeah. You got concerned because you're around a lot of beautiful women, and suddenly you weren't getting as many erections as you used to. Right. You go to the doctor. He checks out your weenie. Oh, he checked out my first. Checked out my prostate. Right. And was there anything yeah. wrong? Uh, what was anything wrong? I got the yeah, only the wrong check. thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I well, don't really. Was anything, there was no, nothing wrong. Nothing. He said. Uh, he said, like, uh, can you masturbate? Same you know? thing we asked. Yeah. So really? I go, yeah, yeah, sure. I like right. doing that. Right. So, and and your wife and you have sex what once a week? What I, is, I have sex. Wait a minute. How long have you been married? I've been married like, eight years. All right, I've been married twenty years. Yeah. I have sex once a week. In yeah. fact, last night I said to my wife, "Do you think we should have sex?" Wait a minute. She said she wanted it last night. No. I, who wanted it last night? Allison week? said on the phone she would like to do it. I went home. We were laying in bed together. I'm in my underpants. Yeah. She's like dressed and she looked really good. She had a tight pair of pants and she's lost a lot of weight. My wife, she looks really good. Yeah. We're laying there and I go, do you think we should have some sex now? And she says, you know what? Maybe tomorrow. Oh. So I just said, hey, screw this. I kissed her and then I just went to bed. I, and, and what I did was I waited until she left the room and I finished myself off. Yeah. It took two seconds and I thought about, uh, I actually thought about the woman playing my wife in the movie because I had spent all day with oh, her. Oh no, uh, you're doing that? Yeah, I had a little sex to her last oh, night. Dear. She's a very good looking woman. Um, <laughs> yeah, really, she really is. So, Norm, what do you think about? What? When you're masturbating. What do you think uh, about? Well, you know, like. Uh, Fat woman's ass? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, who do you think? Did you ever think about Elle McPherson? No, no, no. Oh, I don't believe that. Who do you think about? I don't think Girls about, you just met. I'll tell you something. I can't think think about like uh, girls that I don't think I could have sex with because I don't have that good an imagination. Right, it's got to be someone you think you can get. Right, that's exactly. how I am. Right. right. So and so I, I sometimes I think of like uh, kind of unattractive girls where I'm <laughs> right, right. Way when you're, when you're doing stuff. Than them. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do that too though. Yeah. Like some like sometimes like like one of the interns here or something I'll think about because I think that like I could definitely get her. You ever think about Rosie O'Donnell oh, when you're good doing Good lord. It? No, no way. Right. Yeah, name some names. Yeah, name some names of who Give you think about. Example. You know, uh, Rosie O'Donnell would be good at. Giving? What? Really wide head. Oh, oh, that's funny. Does Rosie O'Donnell have the biggest head in the, on the planet? Yeah, she right. really does. It's, yeah, how much does right. her head weigh? Do you take a guess? Uh, about her head weight? Yeah. Oh well, that uh, that age-old argument. I'm not going to get into. You're not that. even going to get into it. Yeah. I see. I see. And um, she's on the new $100 bill. Did you see her picture? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty wild. <laughs> Wait a second. Now. This is fascinating because I don't know that much about you. No. Who does he think about? That's what See, I'm know. old. You know, I'm like 33 years old. Oh, that's it's, real old. old. I'm well, 42, dude. Yeah, well. I mean, um, um, gee, I didn't know you were. I, that's young. But it's still fun, you know. I like uh, having Man, sex with 33 my wife. 33? Like, how many times a week do you have sex with your wife? Be honest. My wife's very beautiful. Is she? Yeah. How, did you, how did you get her before you were famous? Was it a difficult uh, thing? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I was just a nice guy. Are you really charming? She was, no. Because you're a good-looking guy. I'm you're not charming, but right. I'm, just, I'm just, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. All right. And then she didn't know what she was doing, so, you know, we just... <laughs> you got married, like yeah. most people. Yeah. And, and you got married, and she's good-looking. Yeah. She have a nice body and everything? Yeah, she's very pretty. And so what do you get her, like two times a week? What's that? What do you get her, two times a week? <laughs> get her? <laughs> yeah, get her. Come on, man. You're not um, that old that you don't know what that means. Three two times a week's a little um, uh, much. You know, That's I, a lot. I, I See, you're like me. Yeah. And it happens once, once a, week. a week. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm laying in bed with my wife yesterday and I said to her you know let's have some sex she said Saturday night I'll come visit you at the movie and we'll have sex there really yeah. she's waiting to come visit yeah, it's Saturday night Saturday yeah. night is when I get sex then yeah. I watch you that's like uh, Archie Bunker or something I usually get it at 11 o'clock and by 11 30 we're good and we're all cleaned up we're laying in bed and we're watching <laughs> Saturday night live that's it's it so, yeah so you have like specific days yeah oh, that's kind of sad yeah. oh so you do it 
spontaneously. Spontaneously but every once a week. third year. <laughs> right. So you might actually, you don't know when it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. That's exciting. It could happen any time. Yeah, yeah. Wait another couple of years. You'll be, you'll be down to a Saturday night. <laughs> Does your wife at least let you go everywhere on your, by yourself, or do you have to accompany her everywhere? Go, are you like after the show, when you go to this diner, do you have to go with your wife, or do you go by yourself? Uh, my wife lives in Los Angeles. Oh, oh she does? Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's a great marriage. Yeah. Well, I, I go back to Los Angeles. I'm only here, like, when I do the show. Oh, really? But don't you have to be here to write and stuff? Yeah, but that's only 20 weeks a year, and then the rest of the time I'm with my wife and kid. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's great. Well, so you get a nice little break. So you were here alone, and Elle McPherson's coming on to you, and you had a little affair with her. Good Lord, no. Wow. I don't know, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, he's setting himself up as a challenge, saying yeah. it's hard to get him aroused. Women like yeah. Do you hope each week for an ugly female co-host on Saturday Night Live so that you don't have to fall in love with her? <laughs> oh, man. What a no, life. No, I've, uh, I've never been able to, like, think I could get a, uh, uh, you know. Did you kiss Jim Carrey's ass when he was on the show this week? Yeah. That's a good uh, guy to know, isn't it? Jim Carrey? Yeah. Yeah, I guess, although, you know, nobody ever seems to really help you. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, you, you suck yeah, up to someone. Yeah, look at all the people he's met. Yeah, I know. You meet cool people. Like, I see at the end of... The funniest part of Saturday Night Live to me is at the end of the show when the host is standing there and yeah, everyone right. in the cast yes. is practically knocking over the other one to yeah, get right. to rap to the host. I've never done one of those. I never did those. You never stand at the end, do you? No, because I'm done at Update. I just go home. And you go home. Diner. Don't you want to be there at the end when everyone's standing around sucking up to the host? I was talking to Steve Forbes when he was there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just when a guy's that rich, you you do, like, kiss his ass. Right, why not? Because you don't only in the back of your mind you go, hey, maybe, maybe he'll give guy, me ten bucks. Yeah, like, no, maybe he'll, like, he'll say, this is a really good guy, and I'm going to give him a million dollars and change his life. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I'm going to get involved with him business-wise. Yeah, right. Yeah. You just think, like, maybe something will happen. That never happens. That happened to One me the time other day. One time I did uh, The Tonight Show, and David Lynch was on, you know that guy? Yeah. So he goes, hey, man, you're really funny, really liked me yeah so he goes uh, he gives me his home number you know cool so i call him up you know he goes hey where are you going to be performing so i go ah, the, you know the comedy shack or whatever yeah. so he goes i'm gonna go you know so he comes and sees me so and afterwards he goes give me a call again so i give him a call like the next week yeah. he goes, where are you performing uh, oh, <laughs> it's, like, it's like deja vu so, so he came and saw me like three times right and that was it and that's, that's it the, yeah. and he didn't put you in a movie or anything no, he didn't oh man a movie. well he did help you he bought a ticket <laughs> yeah <laughs> hey i'm gonna help you out i'm I'm going to buy one of your tickets for t 10 bucks. <laughs> oh, man. You're his dancing monkey. Right. Exactly. <laughs> like, oh, oh, thank you, Mr. Lynch. Uh, yeah, but something will happen. You know that. Right. Are, you, are you starting to think about life after Saturday Night Live now? Are you starting to like... Uh... I'm, I'm writing a movie now, you know, because like, sometimes I get offered movies. Right. We get nothing in the movie? Because <laughs> <laughs> movies kind of suck. I, I, you probably get the same scripts I do. That's what forced me to write a book and eventually, you know, put together my own movie. Yeah. Because it's hard to find a good script. It's really hard. And what they do is, like, if they see that you're funny, they'll bring you in. And the role will be horrible, and then they'll go, just be funny. Right. And yeah. Go, well, i got to read these words. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, just improve the scene. <laughs> right. Now, you're not, I hope you're not doing the Ed Sullivan story. Are you doing that for the movie? <laughs> anyway, uh, that's pretty cool. Hey, wait a second. There's some people who want to talk to you on the phone. Oh, gee, I think I, I talked so long I what? lost them. Lost all the people? Right. Yeah, she's gone. There was a woman who was, like, really a big Norm fan, wanted to get on with him. Oh. Nobody who slept with him, though. No. Hey, if <laughs> Elle McPherson wants to call in. Yeah. He's a hot little piece of ass, man. Don't tell me she's not. Uh, I guess. Who do you think is attractive? I like Anna Nicole Smith. <laughs> oh, oh, stop come on. it. You're you don't like her? <laughs> come on. You don't like Anna Nicole Smith? Come on, she's gotten heavy. He's putting me on. No, I'm, I'm not. I, I, no, no, I saw a picture of her recently where she was really, really fat, where she didn't look good. Right, but you're talking about years ago when yeah. she was thin. Oh, okay. Not that long ago. Yeah, a couple yeah, right. of years ago. So you like big breasts? Yeah, I like big breasts. <laughs> Does your wife have big breasts? She has normal, normal size what, breasts. What, C, C cups? I don't know. I hear you talking about those. I don't follow those. You know, like you're, in, you're in bad shape. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you like Sally Struthers, too? Oh, I did. You yeah. did, right. Yeah. yeah. So that's your type. Oh, my like God. Blonde I love and Sally Struthers. Not man. anymore, though. What? what? Well, you don't like her anymore. No, 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 I don't like her with the flies around her. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a turn off. <laughs> well, anyway, um, hey, oh, and did you ever meet Chevy Chase? Chevy Chase? Yeah, you yeah. hate him, right? Don't you? Well, I did, and then he said he really liked me, and now I like him. Oh, I see. No, I loved him when he was on the show, when he was uh, yeah. did Weekend Up. Now his movies suck. And you what? don't want to, now his movies suck. His movies? Yeah. That you uh, think? His movies? Yeah, come on. <laughs> come on, name <laughs> one that you've seen. Um, yeah, come on. 
Well, yeah, vacation is hilarious. That's well, true. That's 100 years Is there ago. a bunch of graffiti on the walls written about him, like negative stuff? <laughs> no, no, no. no. He's, he's a king there. Who's the, who is the biggest a-hole guest of all time on Saturday Night Live, in your estimation? Um, the worst person to work with. Uh, I heard Steven Seagal, but I wasn't there then. You weren't so there. I don't know. I what about during that. your uh, Yeah, since you've reign. been there. <laughs> since I've been there? Yeah, since you've been there. Who is the person you least like working with? Uh, there was this guy, uh, I don't know if you know him. Who? His name is uh, Jason Patrick. Oh, yeah, that's the one who was dating Julia Roberts for five minutes. Oh, yeah. Isn't it? Isn't yeah. It? Jason Patrick? Yeah. He was a host? He was a host, yeah. And you hated him. <laughs> Why did you hate him? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't hate him. He was a good guy. <laughs> you just said he was the worst guy to work with. I know. <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't know. <laughs> that was wrong of me to say, now that I realize it. <laughs> the guy was young and cute? Yeah. He That's was... why you hated him, because he could get Al McPherson. Yeah. Exactly. No. I don't know. Anyway, what? Norm MacDonald is, like, my favorite guy to watch on <laughs> yeah. Saturday Night Live, and uh, I just think you're an incredible talent. What can I say? Jason Patrick was a good guy. <laughs> oh, be quiet. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> He's not listening. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it seemed like kind of fun up there at that Saturday Night Live office. Like, you know. Yeah? Aside like from they have a good time? I never know what that set is like. Is there good morale over there, bad morale? I don't know, man. I can't tell what's going on. Everybody, you know, there's so many c cast members on the show yeah. that everybody wants a uh, wants to get on. So it's right. like a bunch of dogs with one <laughs> bowl of food. Everybody's <laughs> fighting everybody. And it's true. Stuff, you know. They well, never... you must be hated because you get a lot of time. Yeah. Oh, everyone hates. Everyone hates Norm. <laughs> What's the David Spade story? How come oh, this is funny. All right, so David Spade is hosting this one of them. Uh, it's a Planet Hollywood opening. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right. So he's is that to promote his movie. Uh, yeah. Something yeah, something like that. Yeah. So. Uh, um, it's got all these rock stars, you know, guys you'd, yeah. you'd know and stuff. Yeah. And so they, uh, he's interviewing. He's supposed to go around the audience. He's supposed to be the host going around the audience talking. So he's talking to uh, Tommy Lee, you know that guy? Yeah, Tommy Lee, sure. And uh, his wife. Uh, Pamela, Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson. And so he says to them, he says, uh, he's talking about him. And, you know, he does some interview with him. And then he goes, hey, after the, I hear you're going to go up and jam to Tommy Lee because they're all going to jam. <laughs> and he goes, I hear you're going to go up and jam on the stage. And then the, Tommy Lee goes, yeah. And then David Spade goes, uh, yeah, I'm going to go up there, too, you know. I, I've been known to play a little skin flute, you know? <laughs> yeah. Thinking that it means to masturbate. Right. But it actually means to... Oh, no, yes, right, to yes, have yes. to have oral to sex. Filet, yeah, right, right filet, right. yeah. So uh, they just look at him, you know? <laughs> you, mean he did, you mean David didn't understand that he didn't playing understand. the skin flute? <laughs> yeah, he thought it meant... Masturbation. masturbate. Yeah, right. So they go, what? And then he goes, uh, you know, everybody does it, play a little skin flute. I just, oh. did, it. I just did it before the show or something, you know? Oh, man. And uh, everybody was... <laughs> Horrified, and then he was a, he was an outcast. And it's funny because everybody, think, you know, David. Everybody thinks David's gay, gay anyway. Yeah, but he's not. He's oh. real horny, and he can't get chicks evidently. Oh, stop! He's over at scores, I think, all the time trying yeah. to get laid. Yeah, he likes really? the, he likes yeah. the ladies. He sure does. Yeah. Is he able to get girls? You know, he gets girls, but. Um, they're not that good. Then they don't. He's just real nice to them, and they don't end up having sex with him. Yeah, he weighs like yeah. seventy pounds, you know. Yeah, <laughs> but he's a funny guy, man. He's hilarious. He is. He's great. He's really funny. Norm McDonald, you are the best. Thanks for coming in and hey, doing Bob Dole. Great. You're great, man. With respect. It Come back coolest. again. Yeah, I'd love to. Is it hard to pull off? Unless you want a quicker. No, it's cool. It's cool. It was great. It's different, though, different environment being in there. You feel out of the element. You kind of say anything, you know? What are you talking about? Yeah, what about all your own stories? All the stories you're telling you. They are true now? You might address them. Yeah, yeah, everything I say is true. You sure? Some of those were lies. I don't know. This I smirk a lot, so everybody thinks that. Like the gay fashion story was true? Yeah, absolutely. Everything is true. And you didn't get all of the curse. I've never been with Alan McPherson. Steve? I've met her once. So you glad you came down here? Yeah, it was the coolest. Yeah. Yeah, it's the coolest show. Best show on uh, TV.